A make file is a script that automates the build process of your project. It defines rules for compiling source files, linking object files, and generating the final firmware binary. Because we need the binary to flash onto our microcontroller. In your project directory, create a file and call it make file. Make the M capital. Make file has few parts to it. First, we will define some flags for the compiler. The compiler flags variables contains options for the compiler see flags the first part right here is targeting the arm cortex m0 processor if you are using let's see m7 then you need to define as such the m term is just enabling thumb instruction set for better code density the wall enables compiler warnings and the w extra enables additional warnings as well so you might ask what are the purpose of the flags these flags catch potential issues early in the development process the second part of the make file we are going to define flags for the linker ld flags tlink.ld it specifies the linker script for memory layout as we have defined in our linker script now the last part no std library it prevents linking with the standard c library after we have defined our compiler flags and the flags for the linker we will include some libraries in our firmware define libraries we are only adding three libraries here. The first one, LC, it is linking the standard C library. The second one, it is linking the math library. And the LGCC is linking the GCC support library. The essence of writing a make file is to be able to generate a binary file that you would then flash onto your microcontroller. So these are the steps that we are going to go through to generate our binary file. We are going to build a target that is the binary file that we want okay firmware.binary in order to get the binary file we need a file that we call elf okay elf file is when you have an object file and you link all the necessary libraries to it and before we can create the object file we need to compile the source code the source code is this file the main.c so inside your main.c make sure you've cleared everything with only this remaining all right go back to your make file we do build and we call this firmware.bin. Now this depends on an L file. Let's deal with the source file because we have it. We compile our source code into object file. The object file depends on the source code and small c here. This is the command from the armgcc library and this will enable us to compile the source code here into an object file. Now this sign represents our dependence and this dollar add sign is representing our object file the next stage here is that we'll add our links right the linker script and everything to this object right here we are going to do that to create the elf file at this point we need the elf file right so we do elf and the elf file depends on the object the c flags already defined on top here so that is no problem the arm command and this is where we add all the external libraries and our linker script. That is, we define the memory segment, everything we add to the object file. Now we can generate the binary file. We can do firmware.bin and this depends on the elf. Okay, so with this command, we are compiling the elf file right into the binary file that we want. We go to the terminal and we run make. It's going to give us the binary file. But before we do that, we will just add a command to clean in case we want to reset. And also we add a simple command to flash the binary to the microcontroller that we are using. All the objects and the bin files that we created will be removed. The last line of code is to enable us to flash the binary that we create onto the microcontroller that we have we are just calling the st flash to and we first need to call the reset and we'll write it to this is the address of the flash we want to know the details behind everything we are not going to use ides and because of that you need to install the st flash 2 this is provided by st company for flashing binaries onto the microcontroller i have included the instruction for installing the st flash 2 in the description so whether you are using mac or windows or linux go ahead and install it once you are done 
go to the terminal where your projects are and at this point you can just call the make is going to compile everything it will give us the object file right here and more importantly it will also provide the firmware dot bin okay so with this firmware dot bin we can just call make stm flash once we run this command it will flash our bin program to the microcontroller that we are using you can go ahead and do that one thing that you can also do once you have the st2 installed you can use the terminal to check the properties of the st that you have by using the st info probe command so i have the stm32 f74 connected to my machine right now this is the ram and this is the flash once you flash the program it will just show the bytes that were read into the flash and there you have it in the next video we are going to use all the knowledge that we have acquired and build our first blinky project